this video we'll see that the concept of Edgeward box is analogous in the case of firm behavior or firm production. Just like we discussed everything related with the marginal rate of substitution in the consumer behavior, we'll link this topic with the marginal rate of technical substitution regarding firm behavior. So suppose we have two firms in the economy, firm that produces clothing, firm that produces food. Same logic, we have two origins, so we have to look at them from two angles. For instance, in the case of clothing, the y-axis is going to be her capital and the x-axis is going to be her labor. So we have capital and labor in the economy that can be traded between these two companies. If we look from the perspective of the food company, the food company will also have a y-axis, which is the capital, and an x-axis, which is going to be her labor. Now, um, Besides that, because the economy is closed, there's a limited amount of capital and labor that can be traded. So for instance, the capital in total would be 50 and the labor in total would be 100. Let's see if that works out. It's going to be very analogous to what we did with consumer. I even wrote the same numbers to see that it's exactly the same logic, except for some nuances. So um, over here at the yellow point, for instance, we would have 40 units of labor of clothing. The clothing company has 40 units of labor and 20 units of capital. Now, looking at the blue data, which belongs to the food company, the food company has 30 units of capital and 60 units of labor. Now, let's see if that's complementary to the, to the total amount here. 60 units of labor of the food plus 40 units of labor of the clothing makes 100 units of labor in total and 20 units of capital of clothing plus 30 units of capital of food makes to the 50 units of capital in total over here. Hope that makes sense. Exact same logic as with consumers. Now, just like consumers were willing to exchange, were willing to exchange food for clothing, that were the goods that they were exchanging. Now the companies themselves can exchange capital and labor to improve their own production because recall the only reason they use capital and labor is to produce, to make it for the consumers and since one company might have more of one labor let's say someone has more capital than the other company then obviously there is some room for trade they can exchange they can make at least one company better without hurting the other one we still might have a room for Pareto improvement and we will discuss this in the next video when we'll associate this with the topic of the marginal rate of technical substitution